Okay, let's start. So, hi everyone. Thank you for joining this uh, session. Uh, my name is Ofer. I am part of uh, Linux Foundation AI since we started this foundation six years ago. Uh, I was the first chairperson of the Technical Advisory Committee and currently doing uh, many different things within the, the Linux Foundation AI and specifically leading the Generative AI Commons Education and Outreach uh, work stream. So in this presentation, I will present Linux Foundation AI. I will share with you uh, our activities and our activities at the Generative AI Commons, and I will invite you to be part of what we are doing. So we started Linux Foundation AI like uh, many other uh, organizations or umbrella organizations to bring open source AI under one uh, organization. As I mentioned, we started it uh, uh, many years ago, six actually, and uh, we are growing pretty nicely. I will show you some numbers uh, uh, soon. This is how we structured. So we have the, uh, all the projects and all the governing board or governance uh, structure, governing board on the one side, and then the technical advisor council with all the different activities. I will focus today on the generative AI commons um, in this uh, presentation. So a little bit more about the uh, LFA in, and data in general. Uh, we have now 64, maybe 65. Uh, um, the one that was announced yesterday by Intel is the new one just joined on Thursday. Um, 650 organizations uh, contributing, 75 members, um, many, many millions of line of codes, more than 100,000 contributors across the projects across the years, 30 of them in the past, uh, uh, 30K of them in the past uh, 12 months. And uh, all over, we have more than uh, 250,000 GitHub stars, which is many. Um, this is a, a screenshot of the hosted projects. We have many projects, as, as you can see, not all of them are here. It's a process until they, they get into the, to this uh, slide. Um, some of the organizations that are participating, some of them are active uh, like members and some of them only contributing uh, um, to our uh, different uh, projects. This is a, a very nice tool uh, that we, I think, uh, borrowed from uh, CNCF. Uh, you can see here all the different uh, AI pro open source projects uh, out there, and uh, those with the blue uh, frame are part of, uh, of our uh, organization. This is a cool tool that you can play with. Uh, it's called the AI Landscape. If you want, you can scan the barcode there and, and try yourself. So let's jump into the AI uh, commons, uh, the, or the Generative AI commons. The Generative AI commons is fairly new organization. Everyone is talking about Generative AI, so we had to do it ourselves as well. Uh, current, uh, we started it in September, uh, launched it in September, so uh, only like several months. Uh, and uh, we already have more than 200 uh, active members contributors to, the, to, to our activities across 80 organizations. So very, very active. Um, and uh, um, we are organized in five uh, work, work streams, working groups, applications, model and data, frameworks, responsible AI, and education and outreach. As I mentioned in the beginning, I am leading the education and outreach. This is, uh, this is my uh, work stream or I'm leading this work stream um, and I will uh, present a little bit more about this uh, uh, work stream. But I also want to mention some others. The Responsible AI is something that we started as the Trusted AI Committee, I think 2000, late 18, 19. And when we started the Responsible AI or the Trusted AI Committee back then, it was pretty hard to get quorum to get agenda running because no one cared about it. Currently, it's really, really active. Uh, we have a lot of uh, participation. Many projects uh, are coming to get our advice and, and to learn. And we are running uh, many different uh, um, 
um, um, projects under the responsible AI uh, um, uh, work stream. Uh, the frameworks on, on the left is, uh, is running now the, uh, one of the most interesting uh, activities that we are doing, which is the model openness framework, which is a, a framework that allows the model contributors and the public to understand what is really open and what is open about the model. Uh, we created this uh, model openness framework uh, with three tiers. The lowest tier is kind of open and the, uh, the highest tier is really open. And uh, each, each model contributor can assess their uh, model according to our uh, specifications and get a badge of the level of openness. Some of the activities that uh, we run on the education and outreach, um, we are doing education for the general public as well as to the developer community. So we believe that there is room for education in this uh, domain. Uh, we run uh, currently a, a developer survey. So if you are developers, I will show a QR code to that uh, um, uh, survey and we would love to get your, uh, to get your uh, inputs. Um, we are uh, doing, uh, we are now creating two courses, Intro to Gen AI and Risks in Conversational AI. So we have a few projects on the conversation side and, and uh, they are leading uh, these courses. Uh, we have created the Generative AI uh, Taxonomy. So basically, uh, we are trying to create a taxonomy for the ecosystem. Uh, it's open on our website, on the Generative AI Commons website, and we want um, engagement from the community so you can contribute and, and submit modifications or new uh, contributions to this taxonomy. We, have, we, we are writing blogs every week. Uh, we run webinars. Today we had a webinar for the non-technical or even non, to people that even don't know what LLM is or don't know what generative AI, but we want them to be part of this game because we believe that it's an important uh, technology, so we want everyone to be part of it. Um, and we also, uh, I personally also uh, contributing to the open source AI definition. So there is an, a task force by the OSI, Open Source Initiative, which is the organization that is running uh, or defining the licenses or the definition uh, of open source. So we are working with them in order to have a clear and um, agreed definition of what is open source AI. And so this is also something that uh, we are doing and contributing to. Um, so this is eight minutes and 10 seconds, uh, but I also, I, I do want to share this slide with many, many different things. So on the left, top left here, we have the Generative AI Commons, which is our website with all the information that, uh, uh, that we can provide and, and you can read with our blogs and links to the uh, webinars and everything. We have an, a very interesting webinar next week on the, 14, uh, on the 24th uh, about the openness uh, in, in Gen AI, uh, the, importance of, uh, the importance of openness in Gen AI. So uh, if you want to register, this is the link. I mentioned the uh, model openness framework. So this is the website for this. And there is a Google Doc where you can submit uh, your opinions. And we are, we are looking for more uh, contribution and more uh, um, information from the public. This is my LinkedIn, if you want to connect. Um, this is the website of the Model Openness tool. So this is a website where uh, model, uh, uh, model, uh, open source models contributors can assess their uh, models against our uh, framework. And this is the developer survey that will allow us to provide the right data to, our, um, to the rest of the community. And I have 15 seconds left. Any, any questions? So the top of the is the best place to go to get involved? Yes, so yes, thank you for asking. We would love 
contribution. We would love to have more people participating in what we are doing. We have room, as, as I showed you, we have different working groups. Some of them are very technical and some of them completely non-technical. So we would love to have contribution and involvement from the community. It's open. Everyone can, can join. Everyone can uh, um, participate. So yes, thank you. <laughs> Any other questions? So thank you. Have a nice day.